Hello. This tutorial will demonstrate how to create a simple projection in Spectrum. My name is Bob McKinnon and I will be narrating this section. Let's get started. Today we're going to create a simple projection in Spectrum using the demographic module demproj. So let's launch Spectrum. I do that by moving to my start bar, selecting Spectrum, and I'm just going to center that to the middle of my screen. When Spectrum first comes up, you're presented with the welcome page. And the welcome page has items on it for opening an existing projection or creating a new projection. But before we go there, I just want to point out in the lower right-hand corner of the screen is the status bar. And the status bar will indicate um, projections loaded by their file name. And it's currently clean, indicating that there are no projections currently loaded. We'll be sure to check back once we create our projection to see that the file name does in fact appear. So in order to create our new projection, we can either select New Projection here from the Welcome page. We also can find the identical command up in the menu in the file group right here. I'll select it from the Welcome page. What that does is it brings up the Projection Manager. And what you want to do with this dialog is start from the top and work your way down, filling in the items as you create your projection. So the first section is prompting you for a file name for your projection. So I'll select that. And what I'm going to put in here is Ghana Base. Okay, and you'll notice that um, by default, Spectrum will save this um, will save this file in the Spectrum data folder under the My Documents directory. So I'll select Save, and you can see that the full path has been placed to the right of the projection file name button. Next section concerns our year boundaries. So let's set a first year for 2008. And let's select a final year of 2020. I'd like to point out the hover text here. As you hover over these various items, um, hover text will appear explaining them. You can see the same for the final year. Okay, let's move down to the next section. And this is where you want to activate the various modules in Spectrum. In our case, we're just going to have Demproj, so we'll leave that one checked. But there's other modules that we could activate, such as the AIM module or the uh, Fan Plan module. And again, there is hover text for these items. Okay, so we'll leave uh, Demproj selected. And then we'll move down to the country data. So we did choose Ghana, so what I'm going to do now is move down and select Ghana off our list. Okay. And what that does is it tells Spectrum to load up the um, demographic data for Ghana, which is based on um, the estimates that uh, U the UN POP division has done. Over here you can select your fertility assumptions, which could be either low, medium, or high. And generally we, we do select medium and the same for life expectancy. And interesting to point out that um, the value of TFR, this 4.3 is the uh, TFR for Ghana in 2008. And the 3.5 here is indicating the um, projected TFR in 2020 for Ghana. You notice if I um, move to Germany, those values do change. Okay, so I'll move back to Ghana. And I'll select OK. All right, so we filled in all the, infor all the information we need for our projection. Select OK. Now that our projection is created, we can look down at the status bar and as expected, Ghana Base is listed here. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the demographic inputs and outputs of the projection that we just created. Then we'll learn how to save the projection and that will conclude the video. So what I want to do now is move over here to the Modules tab and select the Demproj icon. And what that does is bring up the Edit and Results menu bar for Demproj. These first two selections are for demographic inputs 
and the final one is the results or demographic indicators. Okay, so we'll click on projection parameters. And you'll notice that 2008 and 2020 are listed as our first and final year. And that's what we set up when we entered the data into the projection manager when we created the projection. There's other inputs here, such as uh, whether we want to include an urban or rural projection or the scale of our inputs. But we'll leave everything as default, so I'll select cancel here since there's no changes. And then we'll move over here to the demographic data. And what this is is the first year population in 2008 for Ghana. And that is the same for the other tabs here, such as total fertility rate or the age-specific fertility rate. And I'll quickly move through the rest of these. I'd like to point out here the source button. So if I click on the source, what that does is it it shows you the source of where this data came from. So um, this did come from the United Nations uh, 2010 revision population data. So that's noted. If you were entering in data from a alternative source, um, you're encouraged to enter that here. It's just a simple text editor. So I'll close that. Okay, let's close this, the editors now, and look at some of the demographic results. So what we can do here is we can actually take a look at the total population. And we can look at that as a table. First year 2008, final year 2020. So here is the projection for Ghana as a table. Now if we want to add a result, we can look at the total fertility rate. And this time let's look at it as a line chart. Select that, hit OK, and here's the TFR displayed. Now we can still move back to the total population, it's just another tab, and then back to the total fertility rate. Okay, so now let's make a change to the TFR. So we can do that by selecting the demographic data, which we were previously, moving to the total fertility rate tab. And let's change the final year, say, to replacement fertility of 2.1. And let's do a linear interpolation from 2008 to 2020. We can do that by selecting the cells and then selecting the interpolate button down here. And then setting OK. And then we'll display the TFR again. And that will calculate spectrum. Spectrum will calculate, and we do get the new total fertility rate here. It's down to 2.1. And now let's look at the total population. And we'll look at that as a table again. So this will calculate the total population with the new TFR. So in the last year here, we have 28.7 million. So we can look back at our first one to see if there's a difference. And we had uh, 30.5 million. So there is a difference. OK, let's save our projection. So the way we can do that is we can move up here to the Application button. We'll select that. And then we'll click Save. And to test it, to make sure that it has our new data saved, we'll close Spectrum. So I'll exit. And I'll come back into Spectrum. And now I will open our Ghana base projection by selecting open and there's Ghana base and let's see if our TFR held so we we'll move to modules, demproj, demographic data, TFR and hopefully we'll see that 2.1 and we do. Good! Okay so that was a quick look at creating a simple demproj projection in Spectrum. Thank you!